Hi, Rainy. Can we get some yo's? First time chatter. <laughs> Wait, no, I mean first time chat for the day. Hi, Rainy. Why are you praying for me? I'm not gonna say anything bad. Hi, Kim. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Hi, Keelan. I pray for everybody. That's so sweet of you. <laughs> okay, 30 seconds. <laughs> you know who I prayed to or for? No one. I just realized the music softens when you enter like the game menu versus the title card. You know what else I noticed? Face cam is on. Also, look at my hair today. I okay. I didn't. I didn't wash up yet because I'm doing shit later. But I kind of like when my hair isn't like. How do you say? Uh, when it's like not washed, because then I can like shape it. I, isn't it cute? It looks like a little bow. You can't really see it. Wait, should I do this? And I can see it's so cute. I tried baking cookies and didn't even get to the baking part. Come on, Keelan. Cookies- oh wait, cookies are actually really difficult. It's adorable, thank you. Guys, I think Rainy's flirting. It feels so weird to be this low at my desk, though. Anyway. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, hope everyone is doing well today. Let's lower the music a little bit. It is 10, 12 a.m. I'm live early in the morning. Just an hour early, because I gotta do stuff later. I'm probably gonna stream for like two hours today. Plan is simple, classic piece and stream. But, Mario Kart, we are farming today, so ask whatever you want. We need clips for the clips channel, you know the drill. <laughs> I have my postcards. You know what's wild? We talked about before briefly about how colors and paper will naturally fade over time. So this is a, this is a cue card from a year ago. And this is a cue card from a week ago. Wait, you can't really tell on camera. Okay, well, in real life, the cute- wait, we can kind of tell. Somebody chroma key this. Um, the cue card from a year ago is, like, slightly yellow, and this one is bright white. Wait, you can kind of see the white balance. You, you can kind of see it. We'll do a little art lesson later. Talking about art, guys? Wait. Guys? Today's stream is- is brought to you by peaceinart.byshopify.com. Oh my god! Click the link in chat. Go bookmark my website. New pieces coming soon. Also, I'm trying to post blog posts bi-weekly. So, there is a new post from yesterday. So, if you haven't read it yet, um, go read it. I talk a little bit about what an artist's signature is. So, guys, go bookmark the website now. Please and thank you. Okay. Anything else? Guys, type one if you've bookmarked the website. Two, type two if you're a hate watcher. I made the batter and put it in the fridge? Okay, that's actually smart. Before you bake cookies, it should either be frozen or fridged. Because if you put, um, if you have batter into the oven when it's like room temp or warm, the butter will melt. Okay, you guys are assholes. Just bookmark it. It literally, it literally costs you nothing to bookmark it. And who even looks at their bookmarks tab? Okay. If I went big in Vegas next month, I'll win art. Ooh. Oh, wait. I'll win art. I'll buy art. I was thinking about giving out pieces for free, but the paintings take too much time to do that. I might give out some sketch cards for free. I might. I might. Cookies can melt. And it's not that they'll melt. It's the, like, the sugar in the butter will melt. That's why, like, sometimes you get really flat cookies. Because the proteins don't, like, bind to each other as well. Okay. Guys, the plan is simple. Mario Kart time. We got my little Tapix. I only got, like, five, so you guys gotta lift the weight today. Okay. We also gotta... Oh, I gotta make sure the audio synced. And I forgot to change my border color. One second. It's red! Oh my god, it matches. Okay. We're gonna verify the audio synced.
Also, Kim, why are you here today? Don't you have a job? Or are you taking the whole week off? Um, okay. We're gonna see if she's sing. It's good! I'm on vacation since Mac is here? That's so cute. I hope Mac is feeling okay. Make sure to zoom him up with lit. Day quill and night quill? Okay. Well, it feels so weird being this low in the chair. Ew. Okay, should we just go straight to online? Stream ends when I get first. Oh, yeah, you're... Rainy, when's your tournament? I forgot to ask. I'm not gonna play in it. Okay, first person to type in chat chooses my character. What do you guys want me to play? I'm gonna go fight USPS after. No! No, don't. When they end spectate mode next month. Sh okay, should I actually grind and like get good? Okay, you guys took too long. We're doing Rosalina. L spectating. <laughs> that guy's name is Ligma. <laughs> I used to like get so mad at people who would make Ligma or your mom jokes, but now I just think they're funny. Oh my god, we're spectating Ligma! Oh my god! Okay, when I put on the title farming clips because there's huge drama, yes, there is drama. But, like, I, I genuinely need more clips. You guys have been slacking during the month in June, which is honestly a hate crime because it is Pride Month. So, guys, we need clips. Oh. Damn, Ligma really is falling off. Of topics? What do you mean? I have my own little cue cards, but you guys can give me some shit on your own. Man, Ligma really fell off. <laughs> no, I'm crazy. Ah, uh, no comment. Ooh, I don't like any of these, but I'm decent at Bowser's Castle. Okay, guys, you know the drill. Go Gamba. Do you think I will get first today? Stream ends when I do get first, so if you're a doubter, you're literally D.O.M. Man, I remember the last time we played Mario Kart, I think it was last week. Literally, on my last race of the day, I was like, guys, this is my last one. I don't care. The bid is stupid. I got first, so all the doubters had to eat shit. It was so good. Ugh. I swear people always be playing as Shy Guy or Yoshi. Where's the variety? Oh wait, I did say I want to play as um Lemmy. I think his name is. The little Bowser knockoffs. Oh, I actually have a little bit of drama for you guys. But it's like personal drama. L. I hate Dragon Driftway. I love tea. It, I kind of touched on this story a little bit when I happened, when it happened, but we can like do a little more. I'm actually like able to share my story now. <laughs> okay, it's not that serious. <laughs> Turn controller drift on again? No, it's not. I swear to god, it's not. Oh my god. Oh my god, another Rosalina! Okay, so I have been no contact with my parents for about a year and a half now. My sister kind of talks to them, but like, not really. You know, my sister don't talk much. But anyway, my sister had a little party and she needed a crock pot. So, she asked my parents and they said, yeah, you can borrow the crock pot. And my parents took forever to like, give it to my sister. Like, they gave it to her like the day before. So that was annoying in itself. And then... 
And keep in mind, this was like a week before, like, um, Mother's Day, too. <laughs> so, after the little get-together my sister had, she texted my parents. She's like, hey, do you guys want the Crock-Pot bat? Like, when can you guys pick it up? They never texted her back. And then, like, a month later, they were like, oh, you can keep it. And it was, like, the day before Father's Day. Like, oh my god. And, I, okay, I'll be honest. It was just annoying to, like, think about them, like, my parents, like, showing up to our, our new place. Because that's always stressful. Like, anytime they've had to do it, like, I just, I just, like, hide in my room and cower in the corner. But now, we have a crock pot! <laughs> I mean, that's kind of a dub, right? But still, it was annoying, the whole process. So actually, I'm making, like, slow-cooked chicken today. So that's heating up in the kitchen. She got pot- no, not- not that type of pot. I would never. I hate this track so fucking much. Yeah, so that's like a little update. And Father's Day was what, like two weeks ago? And during that whole month and two weeks, I refused to use the crock pot. But today I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'll use it. I'm gonna stop being stubborn and enjoy the items that I have. Okay, wait, I'm in sixth. Okay, I've noticed whenever you stop fucking yapping, I can catch up. Hey, yep. No, I hit the grass! Oh, that could have hit him. That could have got him. Also, how does the stream look in uh, 1080p? It should look fine, but the bitrate will tank. So that is an L. Guys, go gamble. How come nobody's gambled? Is it too early? Sky high Sunday, and I literally win. Wait, I gotta check something. I don't... <laughs> I don't know if I can give chat a sub if I win. I gotta... <laughs> I gotta check something. <laughs> Boss. Cause it's not that I overdrafted my credit card, I just- I'm like five dollars away. But I did pay it off this morning. A little bit. Cause I got my allowance for doing my chores. You know, I love mobile banking, but sometimes, like, it doesn't process quick enough. Oh, it did process. Cool. So, chat, if I get first, chat gets a sub. I'm literally gonna win. Not even kidding. I'm literally gonna win. And there's only 10 people in here. Hmm. I see the prediction has changed. We have 1,000 and believe. Any doubters? I'm locked in. I wanted to use it just to like get ahead a little bit. I wanted the glory. <laughs> so I'm 25, right? You would think that I've lived my life to the fullest. No, I've not. It's because like I'm such an introvert. Like I'm scared of bad things happening, so I don't go out and do things. When somebody asks me like, "What's the craziest thing you've done or that's happened to you?" The craziest. Thing that has happened is still my eating glass story. Like, nothing else substantial has happened besides that. And, like, that's my peak. Uh, for those who've missed that little anecdote, I had a blended drink, and instead of raspberry seeds, it was glass. <laughs> so. Oh my god, I fell off. Otherwise, like, nothing else crazy has happened. I haven't. I haven't won the lotto. Nothing like that. I think the biggest prize I've ever gotten... Wait, I did get the first place in the art fair that in my town. I did get a first place ribbon. And it was for a piece of artwork that I, like, didn't really like. Like, visually, it was cool, but, like, I didn't, like, feel a passion making. I made it because I knew it was gonna be pretty. I don't think I... I genuinely don't think I still have that art piece. It's lap two. Huh? Yeah, I did eat glass. 
It did not taste good. It felt like sand in my mouth. Dude, these green shells! Oh my god, 10th place? Put an Omega Dance next time. Extra protein? <laughs> I don't think there's protein in sand. Wait, first place is so close to me. There's also another blue shell approaching. Wait, there's some bozo behind me still. <laughs> I thought I was in last. I'm gonna lose my coins for real? No, you won't. I promise you won't. Don't worry about it. Look, she's having a heart attack. She's so anxious. <laughs> okay, I need to lock in. I'm not good at any of these tracks. I love being a doubter. You've been watching for over a year, Keelan. Let's see, you've been following since February 1st. You know, that just means you're a realist, and that's totally fine and valid. The believers are delusional, but we still- <laughs> But we still love them. And I've seen you lose race after race after race after race for over a year. But you you cannot like diminish the wins I've gotten. Most every single Mario Kart stream, there's at least one dub. I think out of all the streams <clears throat> we've done for Mario Kart, there's been only like three that I did not get a first place. Okay, I'm locking in. Oh, what is this? Second place? Ain't no way. Why'd they drop their banana? That's so silly. Okay, well, this is not the ideal item lineup. I should probably redeem the shroom here and get something else. Yeah, that's a strat. Oh! Ooh, okay, okay! I'm not gonna get greedy, because I did see first place does have a protection item. So we're going to save the coin in case we do get ghosted. They drop the banana. This guy is really silly. Why not throw it? Why not? Okay, the shell hit them when the lightning bolt got them, so that was a waste, but... Ah. The lightning bolt truly does suck. Two red sh What? Somebody call the ref. Dude, I've been on his ass the entire time. Two protection items, one green, one banana. Not the ideal lineup. But there is a blue shell approaching and a red. Fuck up! Okay, it's fine. He got blue shell. Wait, guys! Wait! My hands are so sweaty right now. What the hell? Dude! Uh... Give me two reds. Give me two fucking reds. Green shield right at the end. Okay. This is what happens when I lock it and like actually play the game. Oh my god. I don't think there's any way I could have played that better. There was one time where I didn't redeem a protection item quick enough. Man. Maybe I should just stop yapping. That was, let's be honest, that was some good racing though.
I think the only true misplay was when I had a green shell and a coin cube and I redeemed the red shell. But I only got saved by that poor play by the lightning bolt. Guys, get your notepads out. This is an educational stream. Okay, the prediction is ended. 55% believe, 45% doubt. One gambler on each side. Two Mario Kart RNG that- oh yeah, for sure. At the end, I got bombarded. But I played decently for like the first two laps. L Grumble Volcano. Perfect boost. When I was thinking of, of a username, like making my account normally, there weren't many people who used Peason, but the individuals who did were all like self-help accounts or like meditation accounts. <laughs> so I think it's funny to imagine somebody searching Peason and then finding my gaming channel. You know what I mean? I find that hilarious. And it's not that, like, I'm an advocate for peace and love, which I am not. <laughs> you know, I like the little story behind my username. Live, laugh, love, exactly. If you don't know the origins of my name, I made it when I was 13 or 14 on Nick.com. And I wanted my username to be peace out, but that was already taken, so I was like, what's the opposite of out? In. Peace and was born. And there's not many people who have the username on Twitter, but I was like just searching randomly one day, and there was somebody whose name was peace in like nine or something, and I, they're like an NFT account. And guys, let me just say that is not me. That is not my alt. You guys know I hate NFTs. He first is very far ahead. How much Bitcoin do I have? Girl, do I look like I have money? <laughs> I only get- Okay, I did get my little tour money today. <laughs> so I have like a hundred dollars in my checking account, but that has to go directly toward my stupid- STUDENT LOANS! I have no like type of crypto or investment. I genuinely hate how a lot of like your long-term success in America concerning your economy or retirement is based on investing. Like, your 401k, that's like people investing on your behalf with your money. Like, I understand, like, that's a smart way to generate wealth or, like, sustainable money when you're older, but it still feels so crummy that that's the only way for you to, like, be able to live when you're fucking old. <gasps> Yo! This is huge. Can you, pa can you pause your student loans because your medical issue? So, I I was able to wipe student loans, like, in my name for my condition. So I got, like, 25k forgiven. I just, like... The rules are finicky. <laughs> you can't, like, hold a real job for three years, but, you know, it's streaming a job. Um, You can't make more than, like, uh, $10,000 a year or something, I think it is. There's some, like, income threshold you can't pass. But... I still um, co-signed for a Parent PLUS loan, so even though it's in my father's name, like, it affects his credit score, it affects, like, his his finances, but he and I, like, we didn't, we didn't sign a contract or anything, but, like, we made a verbal agreement that I would pay it off when I graduated, so it's, like, in good faith, I'm paying it. Like, if I really wanted to, like, fuck him up, I would just not pay it, and then he would get, like, put in forbearance, and fuck up his credit score even more, even though it's only like a hundred for him. And it's like, um, I, I just don't want the smoke. I don't want the drama. Like, I don't want him like bothering me and be like, hey, what's this about? You know? But it, it, the, it's so like, it's such drama. I, I've mentioned this before. It's like, I'm, I'm finally talking about it again. But 
when he took out the parent plus loan for the tuition that I needed for that calendar year, I only needed like 2000 But he chose to take out $10,000. So granted, it's all in his name. And since the parent plus loan like got sent to the school, but any extra money like concerning tuition gets like sent back to you in like a check, he used that for who knows what. So, because when, you, when you're, when you like, um, getting, like, a, a Parent Plus loan or, like, a student loan, you can use it for whatever. Like, you can use it for, like, your groceries, because that's considered, like, a living expense. You can use it for, like, your electricity bill. Um, you can use it for, like, your housing expenses, because that's technically, you need that to go to college, right? So, he told me that he used the extra money, um, for, like, his, the mortgage and shit. Which is valid, but still, like... I'm having to pay off that 10k, and like, I don't want to like confront him about it because like, I I can't take it. Like, I don't need it. I don't need that smoke right now. And the only reason why I'm not like getting too like uppity about it is because, um, you know, I got my other loans wet, so like, 10k in the big picture is like not a lot. Like, I'm gonna become a millionaire one day, surely. But yeah, that's a drama. And my sister is pissed about it. She's like, why are you paying it? I'm like... <laughs> that guy's bagging! I saw him stop! Yoshi's bagging! So what is it, your house now too? Oh my god, that's a whole nother drama. So... Wait, there's so much drama to me. <laughs> so back in... 2021... Now this debacle happened right before I started streaming. So, I don't know if I shared this or not. I think I've, like, shared, like, just the the headline of this little story. Oh my god! That's a, a streamer! A streamer's in my lobby, guys! Oh my god! Fuck this. Anyway. So, my parents' finances aren't the best. You know, they've just been taking L after L for the past, what, so many years. And we got, or they, not we, they got very close to having their home foreclosed on back in 2021. Like, very close, because they had missed, like, so many payments. So, it was going to come down to, they were going to evict us, the bank, or they were going to sell the house to me. And I didn't, I was, like, fucking 20, 21 at the time, so, like, I didn't fucking know, like, what that meant. Oh my god, third place? Ain't no way. Second- <laughs> Guys. 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 Wait, the, the streamer got less than me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. So, like, I didn't specifically know that that's, like, what entails, like, buying a house. So, um, where's the first dad? Shut the fuck up. Like, seriously. Anyway. <laughs> so, like, I, uh, I was with the bank, I was applying and shit, I was, I put in an offer for the house. Because at the time, my parents couldn't refinance for some reason. So, I put in a bid, but... This was this was why I was working two jobs. This was the very end of 2020, early 21. This was why I was working two jobs. So even though I was making like four to five thousand dollars a month, that was not enough to buy the house. Which, looking back, I'm really happy it didn't work out. Because looking at where I am now, I'd be fucked. You know, unable to work. But I would have a home, but still. Um, so then a few months later, they ended up like refinancing the mortgage. So now their mortgage payments went from like 2,500 to like a thousand. But when you refinance, they give you a different interest rate. And then also they change the timeline in which your mortgage is completed, essentially. Because most, most people will opt in for like a 10 to 30 year. 
So I think they initially signed for like a 30 year, but since they refinanced, it reset. So out of the 20 years that they've already paid, it reset to do another 30. That seems to be a big headache. Oh, for sure. But like, I was talking to my friend about it because they were like, please don't do this piece. And like, that, that is actually like gonna fuck you. I was like, well, you know what? Like, I gotta save my parents. You know, I gotta save the house. Um, we were thinking like, I could have just, like, if I had ownership of it, I could have just like kicked them out. But then I would be the asshole. Wait, I'm in first. Clippers. Yeah, so that, that's another bit of drama. And wait, another bit of drama. So after I got like denied, because like my income wasn't sufficient, they were like, Peace, and you should co-sign with your sister for the house. And I was like, no, I'm not fucking doing it. Like, I'm fine with like taking this financial burden, but I'm not roping my sister into this shit. Like, that's stupid. So we didn't end up we didn't we um we didn't reapply under both our names. Oh banana peel! <laughs> okay, I lost all my momentum there. What the hell happened? Uh, maybe I should not talk about drama. Uh, my sister wasn't making a lot of money, but she made... Like, if she and I would have applied, we could have gotten approved. Because my income was essentially like a thousand dollars less of what I needed every month. Dude, what the fuck happened? I was in first. Wait, the streamer beat me. And there were Splatoon players! <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I don't like- Wait, Rainbow Rug! Cause like, with, with that whole situation, the last thing I'll say is that, like, I know I was manipulated into doing that, and I did not want my sister to be manipulated into that as well. And, like, my parents' house is, like, kind of shit. There's mold in it. It would have taken a lot of refurbishing to make it, like, livable, livable. But you know what? It's not part of my life anymore, and that's fine. One day, I'm gonna meet my sugar mama, and we're gonna have a huge mansion. Who wants to take it? Stream idea, we egg the house. I didn't get an offer. <laughs> Wait, I don't would, would Twitch, like, get mad at you for that? You would just have to say that it's like a prank. No, no not a prank, but like, like a, it's scripted. <clears throat> I swear, some IRL streams seem to like they're scripted. I've never egged in house. I've never seen anybody egg in house either. I've seen people throw like paintballs. Some little bozo would like paintball our house every summer. Thankfully, it cleaned off fairly well. But we've never gotten egged. That seems like a very, like, 90s and 80s thing to do, not like a 2000s. Right now, like, everybody just, like, films you and posts you on Tic Tac. And I feel like that does almost the same amount of damage, you know? Wait, I'm logged in! I'm scared of the red shell. <gasps> you jackass! I saw that! I see Luigi side-eyeing me. Is he risen? I thought he was going for Peach. I mean, not Peach. I mean, Daisy. <laughs> All the same kind. Wait, Doubters and Shambles right now. I have Egged in House. I- Wait, no, I- That was not me saying it. That was me reading chat. But, like, wouldn't the vegans hate you if you egg houses? Like, you're not even using the eggs for substance, you're just, like, using it for destruction. Come on, seriously, where's the blue shell? I need it. Wait, I hear it, I hear it! 
I hear it. I hear the blue shell. Yes! Watch this. Wait, guys. Go! No! I'm not looking at chat. I'm locked in. What? Ah! Oh my god. I did it. I don't know what happened at the end when red shows we need to repeat. Oh my god. I did it. 30 minutes in. 30 minutes in. Holy fuck. That's a new piece in record. Let's fucking go. I beat the streamer. <laughs> yes. Where's Keelan? You better come out of the woodworks now. And that's one of my worst tracks. God damn. Okay, you know the rules. First person... Wait, I got first, the so chat gets a sub, so the first non-sub to pop up today gets a sub. Will I get first today? Yes. Let's fucking go. Wait, does that mean the stream is over now? I won? Yes, sir? I tell you, the believers always win. Let's do another prediction. Will I get first again? Go, Gamba. Believers, put your money where your mouth is. Do you think I'll win again? Oh my god, I'm in the front! If I were to make a professional Mario Kart team, would you guys join? Cause I'll be honest, most of you guys are better than me. What would we name it? sit on the roster? Yeah, you can be our diversity. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Let's be honest, I'm the diversity pig too. Wait, we'll look at it in a second. I'm gaming right now. Madrid Drive is so pretty. I love this track so much. Oh, I didn't know I can trick on the... Water fountain? You know, I think we scared Keelan away. <laughs> Wait, I'm in fourth hold. I'll take a fourth. It's fine. I'll take it. Okay, what did you say, Kim? <laughs> Why is shut up still like a banned word? I don't get it. It should not be a banned word. I'm looking at the prediction. 100% doubt I'll win again. 
Did you not see how I almost run that won that last race? Maybe because it's an all caps. No, caps is fine in my chat. I think it's because shut up counts as bullying in mod view. Or it's aggression. Yeah, see, it it modded the lowercase one too. Weird. Shut up. Yeah, your mom is not a block term. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> the punchline before the setup. <laughs> okay, stop getting yourself automated. You're distracting my racing. I need a win. Okay, watch this. Hell yeah! First place incoming, everybody. What's the weather like today? It is a crisp 64 degrees, sunny and overcast. And there is a slight wind. I can hear the winds rustling outside my window. I can hear the winds. I can hear the leaves rustling outside my window. This today is my perfect type of day. But also, just a little tip for you guys. Always make sure you wear sunscreen when you go out. It doesn't matter if it's overcast or not, the UV rays will still burn you. I saw this one Tic Tac that was talking about why a lot of Zoomers look older. It's a combination, or this person was theorizing, that it's a combination of- uh, wait, I want to throw the red shell. <laughs> I stream sniped him, I'm so sorry. <laughs> um, they're theorizing that it's um, possibly how a lot of younger people are getting Botox or facial surgeries, and then also not a lot of people wear sunscreen anymore. They're stream sniping! What's my perfect date? I don't know. I like just hanging out. Also, I haven't like dated, dated, so I have no real opinion. But I've always wanted to do like a picnic date. It sounds so cute. I think simple, like getting something to snack on, like maybe a brunch and then a little bubble tea after would be cute. If I lose, I join Tinder. I've already won today. What are you talking about? It's too late for that wager. I haven't been on like a date date. Like, gone to like a fancy restaurant or whatever. It's cause the only person I dated was a friend so like most of our dates were just like hanging out. blind date no I mean like I'm down to hang out with most anybody is my problem but in order for me to like like somebody romantically I have to know them because I like maturity Il El Rainbow Road okay should I tell the story oh this is gonna be so embarrassing okay <laughs> So bad. Okay. Wait, I have to lock in for this first turn. Get ready to watch this. It's 
saved. Okay, so for the longest time, I didn't know what footsies was. I thought footsies was just like kicking each other under the table, because that's what I played in like elementary school. I didn't know that like footsies was like a flirting thing. Until I watched like some type of media or movie, and it, it literally showed like the grill like running her foot up somebody's leg like at a date. I was like, oh my god, that's what footsies is supposed to be? <laughs> I remember <laughs> telling the person that, like, I was dating at the time, I'll be like, oh yeah, I played footsies all the time. <laughs> like, not realizing, like, what it was. <laughs> and let me just say, I've played both versions of footsies, hell yeah. Wait, I have a boombox. I'm gonna cry. There's like no good place for me to use the stupid Boomba. Fuck all y'all. You know, I'm never far enough behind to where I even get the lightning bolt. This is so pitiful. Jackass. lobby anymore. He knew I was sniping. No. <laughs> you know, I have opinions about people who put TTV in their names. I'm getting ready to farm some drama right now. And I don't care if I lose friendships. I'm looking at the prediction. It's 100% doubt. Isn't that your Twitter name, though? No, 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 no. Like, okay. There is a difference between putting it in your name and then your username. Like, on Mario Kart, you just see the username. Versus, like, Instagram or TikTok or um, Twitter. You have a username and then the actual name. There is a big difference between the two. Because if it's in the username, you can't change it. Versus if it's the like the, the title or the name, you can always change that. It sounds the same though? No. No. It's totally different. You don't get it. You don't get it. Wait, I need to lock in. This is my track. Tomato, tomato. No, it's it's totally different. You do not understand. Like, people are supposed to plug in their Twitter names. Like, whenever somebody has, like, a new song or a merch drop, they always change their name to m promote the product. Like, that's normal. But having TTV in your username, I think it's the most cringe thing you can do. No, I get it. I'm just farming. Why are you coming, Mac? Just because Mac isn't here doesn't mean you can become like a little shitter. The chat. <laughs> no, but for real. I, I, okay. I think it's so cringe whenever people have like TTV in their username. It's like, you're just asking to get stream sniped. 
Like, okay, I'm a streamer myself, quote unquote. And I know if I see a TTV in my Mario Kart lobby, I will snipe them. Even if I don't have no clue who they are, who they are I will snipe them. Because I, I think it's funny, you know? Like, if you're gonna make your username a TTV, what do you think is gonna happen? Or also, they put their- like, the main reason why they do it is so they get, like, residual followers. Like, they think that I'm gonna see them get ninth place three times in a row in Mario Kart, and then I'm gonna go follow their channel. That's what they expect. Not being able to change it from your username is cringe? Exactly. Exactly. Like, what if you quit being a streamer? Then you're just TTV forever. Wait, I'm in first. Lock in. First with two round shells? That's kind of wild. You know, we might need a wins today counter on screen. I've noticed when I smile, I smirk now. Like, my, my red, the right side of my face is more reactive. Will I get first again? Yes, sir. Barely 20 minutes later. God damn. Okay, do I still have the win counter on screen? Wait, what does that say? First place is one. Guys, it's rare that we bring out the first place counter on screen. We're at two, baby. Fuck yeah. God damn. And no, that does not mean two subs for chat. I'm sorry. It's not in my budget. God damn. Look at that crown on my head. It's not even AI. L. You guys want to do another gamble? Will I get first again again? Go Gamba. Man, what is going on? Oh, wait, you know what it could be? It could be because it's summer, so, like, all the little babies are playing. Because normally, when I play at my time slot, it's when, like, all the little Gen A kids are at school, so I just get, like, like Japanese people who are way too cracked. These are, these are probably all children. <laughs> Okay, I didn't want to, like, comment about this publicly. But I assume most everybody who watches Twitch knows about the whole Dr. Disrespect situation. And, you know, I've been formulating my thoughts for the past few days about it. Because I have the opinion of nobody would say shit if it weren't true. Especially if it's, like, a prominent figure. Because, you know, slander laws are pretty strong in the states, like, if people generally pursue it. Fuck you, me. <laughs> so, when, like, so, Doc made his tweet, like, yesterday morning at 11, so this is when I was streaming, so, like, I didn't see it till I ended. I remember I ended stream, open Twitter, and I was like, oh my god, what is going on? And I remember reading through his statement being like, oh yeah, he admitted to it, like, just to, like, save faith. Like, I have the opinion of, like, Obviously, respect victims' privacy, like, don't pry, don't try to investigate yourself, like, listen to whatever, like, journalists share. Because, like, journalists have to follow, like, an ethics code, right? Like, don't be listening to fucking Dexterdo. So, whenever the Bloomberg article came out, you're like, oh, he's cooked. Like, he's fucked. And, oh wait, hi, Mag. And when I, when I was reading Doc's tweet, like, when he said the incident occurred in 2017, it, like, really fucking bothered me. Because I'm 25, right? In 2017, I was fucking 17. My sister would have been, like, 15, 16. And, like, the most frustrating thing I see whenever it comes to, like, people defending predation or, like, like, Snapchatting younger people, they're like, oh, there's, like, no intent. But, like, bro, you're still, like, messaging people inappropriate things. Like, that's still, like, a horrible thing to do. Yes, it may not be illegal in certain areas, but it's still, like, really fucked up. And I was thinking to myself when I was reading it, and I was getting, like, really anxious. 
thinking about it. In the Bloomberg article, it said the, the individual is a, a female 17. In the actual Bloomberg, Bloomberg article. Um, I was getting, like, really anxious reading it, because I was like, shit. Like, I know how I was when I was, like, 15, 17, 16. I was like, that... That could have been me. And I was like, ugh, it felt so gross. And, like, to imagine all the little shitters who were like, well, 17 is fine. Like, that's basically an adult. It's like, imagine... Like, I was imagining, like, if that were me, just to, like, picture so many individuals, like, invalidating my potential trauma, validating the act that was done to me, like, it's so fucked up. Anyway, that's all I was saying. Just because something is not illegal doesn't mean that it's not morally correct. Anyway, that, that's like all I have to say. What article? Um, Bloomberg. I don't remember the journalist's name, but it's on Bloomberg. Guys, first place incoming. Wait, I have to run an ad! Shit! Um, subscribe if you don't want ads. Smile. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forget. Guys, I'm a horrible streamer. I've gotten like two first place today, but like, that doesn't matter. lean back when it's not supposed to. I think some of the screws are loose in my chair. <laughs> and my head. Yup. Also, Mac, I hope you're feeling a bit better today. Oh wait, allegedly new COVID-19 vaccines will be out in fall time. So guys, get your boosters, get your flu boosters as well. When they're available. I'll catch up, don't worry. Oh, I thought the red show was for me. Okay, fifth. I should have saved the shroom. Everything just happens so fast. The world crumbles around me. What am I supposed to do? Can we get some wax in jet? Thank you.
I only sub with Prime? Exactly. Guys, show your pride by subscribing for free with Amazon Prime. Especially since they're increasing the tier 1 sub prices. Like, use Prime if you got it. I don't mind. Yes, I get a, a smaller rev split, but who cares? If you guys save a few bucks, why not? You guys, ask me anything and I'll be truthful. What's my subway order? You always ask me that, Kim. I had subway for the first time a few months ago, in like a year or two. And I always gotta go with the steak and cheese. I love the texture of the beef and the flavoring. It's very distinct, like it tastes fake, but like I kinda like it. But the rotisserie chicken is also a banger. Oh wait, the turkey's pretty good? Ooh, okay. This is like a secret menu item. But some stores offer a turkey tie on them. And it's essentially the BMT, but instead of ham, you get turkey. And it's nice because it's not as- it feels a bit lighter. Also, Subway turkey's really good. Man, I want Subway. I would get Subway more often because, you know, there's one on every corner. But it's so expensive now, like, I can't justify paying like $16 for a foot long. When they used to be five. Like, come on. Crash just killed all my boots. <laughs> I forgot. Okay, four, not too bad. <laughs> Sorry, I was feeling evil. No, no, no! What's my Pizza Hut order? I know Pizza Hut is part of the boycott. Now, I will not confirm nor deny if I used to work at a Pizza Hut. But, I love their personal pan pizzas. They're usually baked perfectly. They're very rarely underbaked. Because, um, I will not confirm nor deny. But the oven that I worked with, all the pizzas went through the same amount of time at the same heat. The only thing that would go halfway through the oven, like the five minute cycle, would be, um... Shit, I don't remember what it was. No, it was one menu item. I think it was the cinnamon sticks that went halfway through, like, half time. So, cause whenever you got like a medium or a large, sometimes it would be like underdone. But the personal pans are always cooked perfectly. I just wish there were more topping, like four little pepperonis, scam. But their pastas are pretty good. I was looking at their website last week before I realized they were on the boycott list, like I didn't order, Sag. Um, but they have a whole bunch of different pasta options now. The pastas are severely overpriced, like if you're going to order from Pizza Hut, always look at their deals section. A lot of bozos will call the restaurant or place online and not look at the bargain section and pay full price. Like a regular pizza, when I may or may not have worked there, would have been like $25. But with the coupons, um, 
But the coupons, you can get it for like 10 bucks. So whenever you order anything online, always go to the bargain section, no shame in it. People feel boycott, that's so silly. Um, mods, cancel mag. I understand why people boycott, but boycotts only truly work if, like, there's a reason why you're boycotting said company. That's why McDonald's is kind of feeling it, Starbucks is kind of feeling it. It's collective action that has, like, a sense of direction and purpose is what makes boycotts truly work. Like, you can't just listen to one bozo who says to stop buying from this company. It has to, like, come from an actual organization that is like, said, hey, this is why we're choosing to boycott said institution or company. Please partake. And like, are boycotts illegal? <laughs> I see like, whenever anybody has talked about like boycotting, they're like, like hypothetically, if I were to boycott, I would choose these companies. Like, is it, I don't, is it illegal to say that you boycott? All these companies stink, why not boycott them all? Okay. That's a, a sentiment that a lot of people have, and that's because a lot of boycotts aren't specifically targeted. Like, if you want to not buy anything from anywhere, why are you choosing to do that? you can be like, I'm not gonna buy this certain cat litter product because it was unfairly used to, or it was unfairly tested on it. And that's fine. But like, boycotting everything for what reason? There's no, I'm in last place. There's no like intent behind it. It's like a very lib perspective. Why this specific company more than the others? Um, if we're unsure, look at like actual <laughs> I got last. <laughs> Look at the actual, like, um, fuck, I don't remember what the organization is called. That's why people have to follow the specific companies that organizations tell you to target. And usually they'll tell you why. Oh, why is this specific cause? Oh. Um, everybody has their own moral compass, right? Hmm. I thought we had to free our girl. <laughs> everybody has their own moral compass, right? So that doesn't mean everybody has to agree on the same thing. Some people prioritize the environment. Some people prioritize, like, animals. Some people prioritize people. I think it is very easy to get behind something when you see people in pain. I also believe it's a lot easier to believe in an issue if you yourself have experienced it. That's why a lot of individuals who experience trauma will often become advocates. But with the rise of the internet, information, imagery, videos, photos can spread so quickly to where even if you don't experience something, you can see it in real time. L. A lot of people became vegans when a lot of documentaries came out in like the mid 2000s, 2010s about like the pig slaughter farms. Like if you don't know if something's going on, you probably won't be educated enough or oh my god, oh my god! or like understand what truly people are experiencing. 
Okay, in that case it was pigs experiencing, but now humans are experiencing. Even if you don't necessarily agree with what certain political leaders are doing, or certain extremist do groups are doing, no individual civilian should be a part of that conflict. People are silly acting so holy all of a sudden. Dude, I hate centrism. Hmm. Hmm. You're really pressing my buttons. I'm trying to, like, respond in a way that's not combative. Because combative needs to- leads to more exclusion. And then people will just lead it- lead into, like, their ideologies more. Obviously what we're talking about is, um, the conflict between Palestine and Israel. I haven't, like, chirped about it much. Because I can't take this month. I'm a firm believer that protesting works, boycotts can work, but you have to be able to educate those close to you if need be. So this can be in terms of identity, um, normal politics, because you have to surround yourself with the people who will be understanding and compassionate. But then in turn, you can't be too combative because that leads to more isolating ideologies or people being just in their more uh, individual individualistic ideals. <laughs> I don't know how there's any smoke. The people giving you smoke are bozos. <laughs> that is true. That is true. <laughs> like, uh, people are just stupid, and I can't. I can't deal with it. A lot of people who give shit on those who support, like, Palestinian people, or who support the boycott, or who support those who, like, fundraise. The people who give them shit, like, just don't understand. And it will take a lot for them to understand. Like, it's not my job to argue or defend myself against people who are not willing to see a different perspective. Like, my energy is so limited, I can't. Yup. Okay, I don't know why I did the boom bags. Electra, can we get some yo's? Hello. I'm in 10. Hi, go Bobo! Guys, I've gotten two first place. Look at the screen. I'm locked in. He's going live earlier every day, I know. It's only when I'm on the medicine. I'm hopefully gonna get off it in like a few weeks or a month, and then we'll go back to the normal stream time. 
It's just my medicine makes me like really fucking tired past like 2 p.m. And like I have to eat by 8 a.m. So like, cause before I used to eat breakfast at 10. So like it's totally shifted my body clock. I hate it. But once I'm off it, we'll be back to the normal 11 time. Cause I do agree that like 10 or 9 a.m. is too early, but it, it's just the only way that I can like stream without like being completely fatigued by the end and it's summer it's fucking hot when do you eat lunch then um i have snacks because i have to have like a full meal and a full meal at 8 and 5 p.m and like if i eat like a full lunch in between i'm just too i'm too full <laughs> so i usually have like snackies in between the midday No, Batman's leaving. He's back. The bat is back. L Dragon Driftway. Guys, do you think I'll win? Type 1. Type 2 if you're a hate watcher. You won't fall for the bait? <laughs> well, imagine I get first, though. You guys better put your money where your mouth is. I'm looking at the prediction nobody gambled. Nobody has full faith in Pixie Dust. Full fuck. Full faith, trust, and Pixie Dust. Uh, what the hell? I hit them with a the red shell from in front and then they threw theirs. Nobody gambled in the prediction, so nobody truly believes if I'll win or lose. Okay, I'm <laughs> I don't think I can catch up from this. I love Mario Kart so much. See, I don't even like, need to gamble. I just need to play this stupid little game. And I get the same highs and lows. You ruined my drift. Oh my god. Come on, give me like a sixth place. Come on. That's not too bad. Mary Mountain is another one that I win all the time. I've learned I just do good with the oval tracks. Simple is always better.
Berlin driveway. Byways. By the way, I'm by. We're right, Bob. <laughs> I should look at my cute beard. No more gaming, it's yapping time. I'm locked in, I'm locked in. When I was a teenager, as with most any other young person, I consumed a lot of like YouTube videos that talked about like how to flirt or how to like act around your crush. And obviously looking back, it's so childish. But a lot- I feel like a lot of people who watch those types of videos are now watching, like, the red pill. This is how you, like, you get the girl. And so many of them have, like, techniques that are, like, borderline harassment, right? And I think what a lot of people don't realize is, yeah, those can sometimes work, you know, like, an arm over the shoulder or, like, a hand touch can work. But it only works if there's, like, initial physical attraction. Like, if some, like, ugly-looking guy comes up to you and, like, starts touching you as a flirt, then that's weird. But if it's, like, some cute guy, then yeah, that's totally different. You know, I can understand the plight. I'm not that attractive, I am a... You know, that's just my opinion. I'm so good! So, like, I think your best bet is just, like, try to look cute. Like, put effort into yourself. Like, groom your face. Put some nice clothes on. Also, like, you have to be in the environment where, like, flirting is fun. Like, don't try to risk somebody up at the bus station. Or at work. Or in the grocery shop line. Like, that should be a safe place. Flirting should only be done in, like, a bar or the club. Wait, I'm still in third? Ain't anyway. Oh. Yoshi is always in first. Should I play with Yoshi? I'll change. I think Yoshi's the current meta, right? <laughs> Wait, I can't go through the bus? I'm a ghost. I'm a ghost. God damn it. <laughs> Wait, Yoshi's name is Stinker. <laughs> you know what else is kind of a stinker? Not following the channel, because guys, we are another 30 minutes in the stream, so if you're new here, click that follow button. You get cool emotes and you get to type in chat. Isn't that pretty cool? And if you're already following, make sure notifications are turned on that we don't miss a single stream. Guys, stream ends when I get another first place. I've already gotten two. Surely I can get another. If it's cheap, cheap beach, I literally win. I need to lock in. Oh, I said I was gonna change the Yoshi, I forgot. Ooh, uh, yellow path it is. That was actually kind of clean. Wait, 
I forgot about this dark. Okay, okay, okay. So this weekend I was hanging out with my friend, and in my room I have my stationary bike. I got it about a year ago, and I try to bike on it every day. I usually go for like a mile or two, so about like 10 to 20 minutes every day. So my friend and I go lunch, we come home, we're hanging out in my room, and they hop in my stationary bike. I'm like, oh yeah, you can go ahead and use it, you know, pump some iron, go with your legs. So they were like, okay, well, whoever bikes the longest will like buy a treat later in the day, because there's like an ice cream parlor nearby. And I'm like, bet. And my friend knows that I can't bike for long. They know I'm disabled. They know that I've had a bum knee for like three months now. This motherfucker bikes for 54 minutes and 14 seconds. The whole time they kept glancing at me like, guess what time I'm at? Guess what time I'm at? They went for 54 minutes and 14 seconds. They're sweating up a storm, they look at me. I don't think you can beat this, but I know you will. And I'm like, fuck yeah, I will. I hop on the bike. Okay, I clean it before I got on because there was like so much sweat on it. And the first 10 minutes were bliss. Minute 20 sucked. Once I got to the 40 minute mark, I felt nothing. I felt good because I know I was going to win. I got off the bike at 55 minutes exactly. And I looked at them and I said, bitch, you're buying me ice cream. And then we got Baskin Robbins and it was delicious. <laughs> but oh my god it was so bad my knee hurt like so much the next day man i felt so proud because from that point the longest i'd ever been on my bike for was like 40 minutes and that was my my max so after that i was like shit I also burned 200 calories, so the ice cream I got was, like, cancelled out, essentially. I had never biked that long in one sitting. Because when I used to bike to work, it would be, like, 20 minutes to 20 minutes back. But never, like, an hour straight. I think the longest I biked, like, on an actual bike was 40 minutes. Because, like, I used to go on biking trails all the time. But damn, 55 minutes. And the whole time I was biking, they were, like, looking at me like... Please, stop! You don't have to do it! I'm like, no! I'm gonna beat you, bitch! Like, come on! It's cause, like, I'm very competitive. If it's, like, any activity that I know I could potentially win, I will be a tryhard. But it was so bad, like, I was sweating so much. <laughs> yeah, so that was this weekend. And when we were eating our ice cream, I was like, dude, every time you come over, we gotta do this. Because, <laughs> like, I don't think I could bike for 50 minutes every day. Like, I know that can be, like, a normal cardio exercise, but I can't do that shit. But the moment there was, like, a race incentive, dude, it was so much more fun. Because my biggest problem when it comes to, like, exercising and shit is that, like, I just get bored. I don't know. I think it's because, like, in order for me to, like, enjoy doing something, I need to see results. Like, not necessarily instant, but, like, I need to see results, like, kind of quickly. And I know that, like, being healthy, eating well, and exercise takes time. So, like, whoa, that was actually a pretty clean skip. So me not, like, seeing myself, like, look better or lose weight within, like, a short amount of time, like, demotivates me. But I know that's not how exercise works, but I, like, I can't get out of my head. Oh, that should've hit Daisy. I should've saved the mushroom for the center path, I forgot. I guess it's good I didn't go that way then. Going to the far left, hell yeah, brother.
I lost a lot of momentum there. I didn't drift properly. I'll take a fifth. I remember my sister and I would play Mario Kart together. I don't know if this function is still available, but there's like an app that you can link to your Nintendo account. And essentially whatever games you play, it'll automatically put you into like voice chats. I haven't done this in years. But I still think that would be like really funny to do. But it would be kind of concerning because it's probably just like fucking kids. Like, I remember, I told this story before, there was this one girl, probably like a teenager, but they were, they kept on saying that they were like Sia's, like, cousin. <laughs> we were in the VC with them because we were playing Mario Kart Online, so like, we just stayed in the same lobby. They kept on, they kept up with the bit for like an hour. <laughs> and we kept like pressing them on it. We were like, oh, what does Sia like? And they're like, oh, they like this type of ice cream. <laughs> It was like the stupidest but funniest bit ever. I've never been the type to like go online, like go in VCs and troll people, but like looking back, I probably would have like had so much fun with that. Like I kind of want to like go into Valorant lobbies, which I've never played Valorant, so like it would kind of be like a real RP but not. Like for like my first three months of playing, I just want to say like, oh, this is my first game. <laughs> I think it would be so funny. I, I fell off. I think that was my bob -um. It destroyed literally every item I had. Not last. Not last. I'm out of water. Bottom right, that looks like Hacker's Me. I think Hacker's Me was like a Pringles guy. Wait, the user is Mr. Pringle? <laughs> My sister is really into traveling, 
So she always asks me. She's like, Peace, and where would you go if you had money? And I always have to say Japan. I've been once back in 2019, but it was like a mission trip, so like it was kind of lame. We didn't get to do many touristy things. But my sister has gone to Japan twice since then. And like, obviously I can't go because I'm broke. But it looks like so much fun! And I just want to like experience more of like my own culture and background. And it's so cute because whenever she'll come home from work, she so show me like so many like videos about Japan. She's like, oh, we should do this. Or when I go again, I want to do this. And it's so cute. Okay, she's like, how do I say this? She's really into traveling. Like she has ASD and like, I swear. Her past, her special interest for the past two years has been traveling. Like, I'll have to ask her one day. But she has like so many Google Docs of like, basically every place in the world, like a whole travel trip. And she's constantly researching. And I keep telling you, you should be a travel agent. But her problem is, she just doesn't have like the, the like charm that like a, um, what do you say? The problem is she doesn't have the charm that like a, a retail person should have. You know, she's not expressive, and that's fine. It's just she wouldn't be good at sales, but she'd be the planner for sure. If I were to go to Japan, I don't know how long I would stay for. I'm thinking like at least three weeks. Cause like it's fairly easy to get around, cause you know there's so many trains and buses and shit. But there's just not enough time to experience everything. Cause I think the times that my sister has gone, it's only been like two week trips. But she said if she and I ever go, we'll need to go for like three weeks, cause it would be like basically my first time experiencing everything. And guys, don't worry if I go, I will film. Just not streaming, cause. I don't know if Japan is trying to like ban live streaming in public spaces. I feel like they should. There's so many like shitters. I got a bullet pill. Damn, I'm at like the same rank when I started today. I think I started at like 771. I'm at 778. Or 7771. So three sevens. Like you're gambling playing slots. Roll away, sweet, and I win. Guys, stream ends when I get another burst. There's so many different art things I want to get into. Right now, I'm researching stained art or stained glass. I'm also researching like kind of photo cards a little bit. I want to learn how to do fashion illustration. Because like I'm not super fashionable, but I just want to learn the style. Also, I just learned this. Adobe has like their own drawing program. It's called Adobe Fresco. This is not an ad. This is not an ad. We kind of hate Adobe right now. But it's kind of like Procreate, but better. And it's on desktop and mobile. And if you log into like your Adobe account, it'll automatically transfer your files to the cloud. So like if you work on something on your iPad, you can easily transfer the file to your desktop. And also, it saves your files as a Photoshop file, so like you can easily export it to Photoshop. I haven't used the program yet, because I'm trying to drift away from digital art, but my sister's been using it. And damn, it's like pretty damn good. <laughs> because I, I never understood how people like drew in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, because like the tools are there, but they're kind of limited. It feels kind of like weird drawing in those softwares. 
Because, you know, I was kind of used to, like, procreate or auto disc sketchbook. Oh my god! But the fresco is kind of nice. Okay, six plays, not too bad. Oh, I didn't mean to drop the banana, that was an accident. Fue un error. Okay, I know I said a few weeks ago that I want to do a stream segment where I do like Spanish vocab every day. I'm changing my mind on that. Instead of that, we'll do a one off stream where I try to recite a thousand Spanish words. And then we title it. Why'd you do that? And then we'll call it, I memorized a thousand words in Spanish, or something. Wait, second place? Ain't no way. Oh, really? Really? <laughs> I'll take a second, I'll take it. I wasn't even trying. Daisy Cruiser is like one of my worst tracks. No sé qué pasó, pero... Maybe I will get another first today. That would be crazy. Yoshi's Island? And I literally win. Hands down, I literally win. I keep on wanting to, like, reach for my cup. Because I usually drink water between races, but I'm out of water. Sad. My other cup is in the wash. Not the washing machine, it's in the... dishwasher. Okay, this might be a Yoshi Island win. Guys, get ready for a W. I'm not gonna talk, I'm gonna lock in. If we could get three first in one stream, that's like peace in history. Show. He's second. Oh wait, I should have saved my red. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. If I get ghosted, oh well. I think the person in second had a banana, so I don't think they have an offensive item. Okay. The only time I'll talk is to like actually commentate the gameplay like a real streamer should. No more yapping. No more drama. Thank you! Jackass. There's so many fireballs today, they're so annoying. No, nobody get close to me. Nobody even dare. I'm feeling devious. I don't think I hit anybody there. to be my track what happened we need a blue shell stat Oh, 
Aw, damn, I hit two people. I got third. I hit one guy after they crossed and the one guy before they did, so I did cop the third place. That wasn't bad. Can we get Yoshi's Island again? For the fans? I think I got time for like maybe three more races. Take it. I don't mind this rainbow road. I want the TTV guy back so I could snipe him. so good at the first turn. I used to be so scared to use mushrooms on this track, but now I have no fear at all. I never used to trick on the ripples either. I think it's because <laughs> my previous bike builds used larger wheels, so the drifts were a lot harder. You know, everybody disses the inside drift bike, but I think it, it's like so much cleaner to handle. The turns are a lot easier. Oh, god damn it. I was following the guy in first too much. Also, like semi decent today. There's been like not much in between. I've either gotten like top three or like bottom three. I know I said I would go back and do the Lucia table tennis stream. And all I can think about is like when I go back and actually edit the footage and like have to acknowledge the long break I took in between the day two and day three. And I think it's funny to imagine I don't do it for a year. That way the edit is like one year later. I think that would be hilarious.
Dude, why are you throwing the retro when you're in 11? I was gonna say, I'm caught up not looking at my plates. <laughs> I felt like I got up a little bit. But I guess not, apparently. So many green shell snipes. I swear y'all are sniping me. Oh, this green patch always gets me. I was going for the item box and I missed it. have to switch to Yoshi. It's the meta. Green, because I love the earth. Cheap, cheap beach, and I literally win. This is gonna be my last race of the day. I'm full sending. bike is modeled after Yoshi. <laughs> that just clicked. No, nope, I didn't throw. I might have just thrown this race. <laughs> God damn it. I'm only in eighth. I'm only in ninth. I can come back. I 
do wish they kind of would have made this track a non-looping. Because this kind of makes sense. Like, why are we going up and down the mountain? Jackass. Wait, I should have saved that. That took me a long ways. Watch this. <gasps> Wait, I kind of did it! Wait! I'm crying! I'll take a tenth. You know what else I'll take? Prime subs, because guys, we are two hours in a stream, so it's time for me to run some ads. You can avoid that ad by subscribing for $4.99, just $5. Enjoy that $5 price play. You got it. Should we do one more? Should we do one more? <gasps> Yoshi's Island! Round two, baby. Let's do it one more time. One more run. I need another first. Come on. Or Big Blue, too, is good. Romavanti. God damn it. We literally had two of my better tracks? Don't worry, I'll get the dub. For the believers. <laughs> Watch this. Stop pushing and shoving. It's not very kind. Watch this. Clean. Oh, that's kind of a hard turn to get into. Fuck. I mean, freak. Holding this just in case. I think there was a ghost in front of me there. Okay, we gotta save one of the mushrooms so we don't lose the boom box. I knew it! I knew it, I knew it. Only going to use the boom box to protect myself, not to clap other people. Good thing I saved and didn't get greedy. Didn't matter. I really need to get better about the, like, the spamming the item button to make it spawn faster. I'm just too scared. Oh, a bullet bill. Wow. I'm at 7,800 rank. I'm officially up 300. Let's end it here. I don't... I do not want to de-rank anymore. <laughs> I'm up like three, four hundred. And you know what? I'll take it. Wait, Coconut Mall though? No, no, no. I, I said I was done. I'm done. 
I'm done. Okay, guys, I did say short stream. I did say short stream. Okay, let's get some music on, because we did get a resub today, so that means we get to do calligraphy. Let's see. Let's do more gambling music. I love gambling. Okay, while I'm getting the camera set up, guys, just a gentle reminder, today's stream was brought to you by PeaceAndArtOfMyShopify.com. Wow! New pieces coming out soon. Click the link in chat and go bookmark the website. I also am blogging now. So if you want to learn a bit more about my art progress, or if you missed any of the past art streams, they'll all be archived on the website. So guys, go bookmark now. PeaceInArt.MyShopify.com Let's get that camera set up. If you guys want me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Do so now. Yeah, Mario Kart kind of fell off. It only had 400 viewers today. Usually, whenever I play Mario Kart, it has like a thousand viewers. God, there's two of me. Okay, earlier when I was talking about the paper being faded, oh, you can see it a lot better on this camera. See how this one is like more off-white and this one is pure white? This is a card that's been out for a year, essentially, like nine months to a year. And this one has been out of the packaging for about a week. So that shows like the natural discoloring to both artificial and real light. Or I guess only artificial because this has never been outside. That's why if you have any painting or photo that you don't want to lose the quality of, definitely get it like professionally framed because there's like certain glass that are tempered differently so that it allows less UV to penetrate it. If you want me to write your name, all you gotta do is use your channel points. Do so now. Okay. Thank you for redeeming, Alex. Also, hi. Can we get some yo's? Hello. Wait, Alex! I don't know if you were lurking or not. But, but, it's gone. I got two first place today. It's crazy. You know what? And people say I'm not a gamer. Because I think you mentioned before, Alex, that you, you play Mario Kart. Not professionally, but like, you're a sweat. I was lurking. Okay, so the, did you see my wins? Did you see them? I saw you got one of the first... Yes! See, I'm like, I can, I can win. I can win.
Once again, thank you, Mag, for the 25-month resub with Prime! Thank you, Mag. I appreciate your continued support. Okay, now for the Brokies. If you want attention, use your channel points and I'll write your name for free. I feel like I always say this, but the rainbow looks so pretty. Also, look what I got. I didn't cross the T. Clean. Anybody else who wants their name written, use your channel points. Now you got five seconds. Okay, short stream. Short stream, I know. I don't think anybody's live. Nobody's usually live at noon. Yeah, no raid today. Also, no non-sub type, so, um, you guys don't get a gifted sub today. <laughs> okay. Uh, thank you all for watching New Chatter Circus. Once again, thank you, Not Meg, for the props. Thank you. Okay. Um... I will not be streaming tomorrow. I'm taking tomorrow off. And by off, I mean working on art stuff. So, I might make a blog post tomorrow. So make sure you bookmark my website. It's peaceandart.myshopify.com. I'm posting bi-weekly on the blog section. So go bookmark it if you want to help support. Um, plan is simple. Friday, it'll be another short stream. But we're doing the just chatting. So... It'll be a banger stream. So make sure you have notifications on that way you don't miss it. Because I don't know what time it'll be the end. I don't know. I'm not sure. I might stream this weekend. If I stream this weekend, we'll either do Peace Lock or Papa's Games again. So, that is the plan for the rest of the week. If you want something to watch right now, new YouTube video. I can't say these words on stream. Really fun edit. Really fun video. So go watch it now. And at least, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube it's free to subscribe over there. So youtube.com slash at peacein17 for weekly stream highlights and peacein17 clips for daily clips from stream. Once again, thank you everybody for hanging out. I hope you had a good time. I love Mario Kart. I got two first place today. That's crazy. Okay, bye. <laughs> bye, guys. I'll see you on Friday. Also, Pride Month is almost over, guys. It's Jover. What are we gonna do? Bye, Alex. Thank you for hanging out.
for the final minute. Do you guys have any last words? Bye, guys. I'll see you all Friday.